Hello everyone, welcome to Vietnam. In this week's episode, I would travel from the capital city of Hanoi all the way to Saigon. I would spend two nights inside the train. During this trip, I'll have a lot of time to spend with my parents. I'll have time to meet new people, try local Vietnamese foods and snacks, and much more. All right guys, so it's time to check out from this uh, beautiful Airbnb. That's the bed that I slept on. That's where mommy slept. And uh, this is where dad slept. And then we had a bunch of stuff here. So, but overall very good Airbnb. Mommy, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, it was good except for the two things that I said. One of them is that the bathroom is actually across the hallway. So it's not really um, an end suite. But again, the price is good, the location's awesome. So we like it. Give me the keys for the kitchen, please. All right, guys, we have called the grab and we're gonna go to the train station. I'm gonna be starting my train journey. So it's very important that we are prepared for this journey. So I should get some chips, maybe some alcohol. That should do it. When you're going on such a long journey, it is always a good idea to have enough snacks and alcohol. Just like the stores in the US, there's a huge variety here in Vietnam as well. One butt, another one, another one. guys so we've got all this stuff let's see how much the it should be about 150 all right we are all set for the train journey okay we got enough stuff for our train journey so we're gonna go and uh, rock and roll dad is waiting outside oh, so. all right guys uh, we're ready to go to the train station yeah we're going to Saigon on train so Hanoi train station the train station was only a few minutes away from our Airbnb at the old quarter. All right, guys, we have arrived. Hey, guys, so I'm here at the train station here in the beautiful capital of Hanoi. Right behind me is the train station where you gotta come and you can catch all sorts of trains from here. And there's one that goes all the way to Saigon, which is the Southern Vietnam. We're gonna take that train and do that 36 hour journey. Today is Wednesday, tonight, all night. We're gonna be in the train all day tomorrow and tomorrow night. And then we get to Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon on Friday. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're gonna be there and Monday, and Monday I fly back to New Delhi, unless something changes. As we went inside the train station, my dad and I started to identify some differences in the trains in Vietnam versus other areas that we've been to. Firstly, there was no one without the ticket that was allowed to enter the platform. Secondly, maybe we were the lucky ones, but the train was right there. As soon as we entered the platform, and there she was. All right, so let's go get mommy and papa. All right, guys, this is gonna be our birth. Thirdly, less chaos and the staff was very friendly. They showed us exactly where to go, how to board, what to do. It was just a perfect experience. Also, imagine they lock all the doors before the train starts. So you can't really do that stunt of hanging out of the door like you are used to doing when the train's moving, at least in India. All right, guys, so it's been about 30 minutes that we started our journey, and now... As soon as this train started moving, we got our food and drinks out so that we could have an enjoyable dinner. My favorite was local Vietnamese vodka. Dad is getting all started on his set up and then I have already started. I'm having uh, a Valentine that I bought at the airport, those small bottles. And then after that, I've got some art bank, that single mom scotch, and then I got some local Vietnamese vodka. I love trying new and interesting food. Very soon, we got our dinner served. It was chicken and noodles with a soup. It was super yummy and then after dinner, I just went to bed. All 
So in the train, we thought that we're gonna have food served, but I think it's against payment, which is good, even in the first class. So I got something like this. I will see when I open it. We also got some eggs. I don't think these are chicken eggs, or maybe ostrich or some other eggs. Yeah. Duck eggs. This is called as Antu. Banchang Tong Ban Tong. After a few hours of daylight, we got our next meal. This was savory porridge. It was delicious. Hey guys, so now we are at another stop here. And usually you're not allowed to go out, but we'll see what's happening. Papa, you wanna go? This was my second attempt to go out and it also failed. But I got an opportunity to lean over the door. That was fun. Alright guys, we are here at another stop now. So let's see if we are allowed to go out. How do we go out? Alright guys, so here's another station and you can see at every station you get an opportunity to buy some of these things. You could uh, get some chips, maybe even wine, some beer. Okay guys, so that's how you get a beer for less than a dollar. And then there are these uh, different types of cup noodles, some different types of tea, have music systems, old ones. We have water. Thank you. We have water. I think it's about right. That's a lot of bills for half a million. Okay, so it's time to go. Bye bye. We got a bottle of water. <laughs> because she was requesting, so I thought it's... <laughs> Now it's about 2 o'clock on Thursday. So now we have the cart again and I got some tamales like thing like this and then some orange juice and uh, we're gonna make some vodka and mommy and I are gonna share it. Alright guys, so I took a nice nap and now I'm enjoying an orange drink. Along with that I got some tamales looking thing with sauce and a beautiful view. So this one was for 10,000 dong BND, which is about 40 cents. Juice was about 20. So guys, the other thing that I wanted to say was that it's really cold, like now, inside the train. But it was uh, not as cold at night when I like, you know, when you're sleeping, you want it a little bit colder. But now, like they've made it super cold. So it's freezing. So I almost want to get my jacket. Obviously outside it's in the 40s in Celsius and uh, in the 90s. How much? Uh. This is a traditional Vietnamese snack. You have to unpack this thin leaf cover and inside you will get this delicious piece of chicken tasting meat. I'm not sure what exactly it was but it was super delicious. As we continue our journey through the coastal region throughout Vietnam, we stop at 10 different stations in total. Hey guys, so we loved it. So now we've come up with a new way to have some food. So the what we opened, we're gonna put it in bread, put a layer of sauce, maybe a slice of cheese, and then on the brown bread. So we're gonna make it like a flatbread, like a pizza, like a sandwich, whatever you are, guys wanna call it. And I got me another one of the uh, orange juice. And remember, if you're coming here, hot water is free, but you can get your small coffee sachets that you can carry with you or the tea bags, so you could always have that set up. Tea. I just not to all this because this is not Spain or South America. Okay, yeah. Thank you. What is your name? 
Nice to meet you. My name is Arvin. Where do you go? Name. You? Vietnam? Name? Nombre? Vietnam. India? America. Mm, chips. Chips. How much? I'm coming. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. All right, guys, I got a couple of bags of chips. It is so much fun trying new food, different recipes, mixing things up, talking to local people, enjoying the beautiful coastal line and the beaches and the water and the flora and the fauna. So amazing and majestic. We kept going through this beautiful scenery with villages and boats and Asian architecture. And then it was time for our second and final night on the train. now almost at Saigon we should be getting off at the station in about 30 minutes or so it is 30 here so this is the perfect timing and the weather is uh, very rainy and uh, but let's see how the day goes and then we've got the whole weekend all right guys welcome to Ho Chi Minh City Da Saigon, 11 kilometers per hour, 6 a.m. Yes, it's 6 a.m. 24 degrees Celsius and the high of 40 degrees. All right. Everybody's going this way, let's go this way. And just we will take the cab from outside. All set. So this was uh, the train behind me that we were in it for 36 hours. So it's 6 o'clock and uh, what time did we start? About 6.30, they're just opening up the shops. So this right behind me is uh, the Saigon station exit. Finally, as I walk outside the train station, it was a great feeling of accomplishment. We could have spent half the amount of money and one tenth of the overall time and just flown. I might have done that if I were traveling solo, but imagine how much joy it was spending that precious time with my parents. And most importantly, it was all worth it when my dad said, that this was the best train journey of his lifetime. Ga Saigon. In next week's video, join me to explore this beautiful city of Saigon. This city has the most bikes per capita in the entire world. It is very hot, so I would need some time at the pool. I would enjoy the nightlife and take two day trips, one to the famous historic Coochie Tunnels and then the other one to Mekong Delta. See you all next time.